Hello friends, welcome back. Um, I have tons of stuff here today to go through. I'm so excited. I did have some suggestions on doing some unboxing of some of the Brickling stuff that I got. So I compiled it all. So we're gonna open that today. I also have some, um, what are these? <laughs> Table, tablecloths. Um, I wanna like start hiding some of this stuff down here just so it looks cleaner. Cause you know, I like everything clean and organized. So I got these off Amazon. We'll try them out and see if they look any good. I don't know. Um, I also got some base plates. Um, so I'm moving everything. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna move everything. I've decided that I want to take Hogsmeade completely out. Um, I'm just gonna take it out because I feel like I, I remember when we talked about this um, the last time and how I wanted to do a Hogsmeade that's not snowy. So I just don't know when I'm gonna get to get around to doing that. So I thought that instead of leaving it snowy for the next year, two, three, four. I have no idea because I feel like I have a million projects that I wanna do. So I thought that I would just take this out of the table and make more space for more forest because that's my favorite part. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this out and I got brown base plates to match the um, deep forbidden forest here. So I'm going to plate up that other half of the table. And then I want to, I also had another suggestion um, from you guys, thank you, um, about putting the forest in the back of Hogwarts. So I'm gonna bring Hogwarts all the way up, but either way, I actually have to take everything off the table because these actually cover the top. So they're not like um, a table skirt per se, but it's going to actually have to cover the entire table, which I think is okay because this is so slick, like <laughs> this table is so slick and I feel like it would be easy to kind of bump something off of here, but once they're all connected eventually um, with like Technic pins, I think it'll be fine. But still, I think that having a, um, this isn't like, well, it's not like, um, it's not vinyl or anything like that. It's like a cloth type of material. So I think that'll add a little bit of resistance and maybe help them not slide as much. Um, so anyway, what I was saying is I have to take everything off of this table either way. So now is the time for me to do some rearranging and moving things around so it's all good. But um, like I was saying, I wanna move the entire deep forbidden forest. So that's gonna be the browns and things like that. Also, I feel like, oh my gosh, I have so much to say. I need to slow down, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I did figure out the color I think I'm gonna go with for the deep forbidden forest which is going to be in the back. That's what I was trying to finish saying. I'm gonna move the whole Deep Forbidden Forest into the back of Hogwarts. And that's gonna take up an entire eight foot table here. Um, and I also have to kind of pay attention to the fact that there is no hole in the middle of this whole thing. So I have to be able to move at least one of the eight foot tables. So I'm going to connect all of the Deep Forbidden Forest here um, on this one eight foot table and then I'll just be able to kind of slide it out just like that so that I can get in and see other things in the middle. So I'm gonna take this whole Forbidden Forest, move it to the back, move everything else up to the front. I think I'm gonna put the Quidditch up here in the front and then the other part of the forest is gonna stay where it is. It's gonna stay right there. So yeah, I hope that made sense. I'm not even sure like what I just said because I said everything so fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's just get started. Let's just go do some stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put this on now just to see if I like it just in case I don't like it and I didn't do all this <laughs> for nothing so let's go ahead and put this on now I think I'm gonna have to get some type of clips or something for here because it's not 
not staying down on its own, but otherwise it is nice. I feel like it is, it fits well, it's just not, I don't know, maybe it needs to stretch out, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go see if I have some clips in the garage and I'll be right back. All right, so I have these heavy duty clips. I actually used to use these um, for filming um, for my backdrops. So we'll see if these will work. You should at least hold it. Um, I know it will hold it, so. Maybe that's all it needs, just to kind of stretch out a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to put some on the other end. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's a little bit better. It's definitely not as slick as it is just using like the regular table without it. Um, I think it will need to be stretched out a little bit, but I think also once I put Lego on top of it, that will maybe hold it in place. So we're gonna keep going then. <laughs> what it looks like. I like it. I definitely like it better than it was, that's for sure. So I'm going to put all of these back together and we will start setting up the little area. done um I mean not done done but you know so I changed everything that I just said um in the beginning of this video um I changed that again <laughs> so I am keeping the forbidden forest in the back so that is back there and the other part the early forbidden forest is right next to it I decided not to keep it here in the middle just because if I go ahead and build out this deep forbidden forest on this whole table and then the castle needs more room over here, then that means something's gonna have to go. So if it's something that has to go, I'd rather have it be something easier that I can just move into the cabinets and still have a place for versus something really large that is kind of taking a big chunk basically out of the forest if I have to move that. So, hi! <laughs> Um, so I think what I'm going to do is kind of maybe build more of the Hogwarts grounds here. So some of the Triwizard Tournament, um, there's actually two mocks that I want to build. There's actually three, but you know, for all three tournaments, but I do have the Lego sets for one of them. So I'll use those for now and I'll build the other two that I don't have. Um, I did purchase parts for the Quidditch mock, so super excited to get that going. Um, and then what else? And then just other things, you know, like the fair that I talked about, birthday parties, things like that can be here. And then that'll give me, you know, plenty of stuff to do while the castle grows. And then I won't be losing anything too large um, that I couldn't just, you know, make a nice space for in the cabinets. So, all right. Oh, actually, I also added a perimeter over here, um, which wasn't on the last table. So now I do have enough room for the um, carriage, I guess, pathway, and then also the railroad tracks on the outside of that. And that will go around the entire table. 
Um, let's start opening some BrickLink orders before I tell you everything that's in them. Um, I'll explain where everything is going once we start opening those packages. Um, also, I will have the table um, tablecloth um, linked in the description box. I'll have the mocks in the description box and anything else that I may have said that wasn't correct, I will have it in the description box. <laughs> All right, let's open some BrickLink packages. I actually used the table um, in my first first ever video. I did um, my little table setup and everything, and I went and bought tables, and then I ended up not using the six foot table. So it's nice because now I can fold it up and unfold it whenever I need to use it. I like it for you know mock building and stuff like that. It's nice to use it for that or what I'm doing now. So let's open some packages. What do I want to open first? I know it's in this one because I know. <laughs> and it was neat. So let's just open these first since there's really no surprises. So. <laughs> One. Ready? Now I have to clean them up. <laughs> I just ordered a ton of four by four plates for the Mills plates for all the pretty much the Hogwarts grounds and well, I guess yeah, that's it. I was I was thinking some of the four. Well, actually, yeah, there's a little bit more of the Forbidden Forest, the early Forbidden Forest that needs some plates. So those will go there as well. Um, let me just open this one because it's the same thing. <laughs> more of these. I'm not going to dump this one out, but. So. Oh, maybe there might be. Maybe there might be something exciting in here. I don't know. We'll see. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, this is something else in here. Um, yeah, so look, there's just more of these. A lot of them. I actually don't remember um, how many I ordered. It's, this is the same thing. It's the same thing. And so is this. <laughs> oh, and then. I just got two, I think um, maybe the seller just had some of these and I am gonna need some um, half base plates, so, or 16 by 32 base plates. I'll need those, so I just kinda pick them up. That's what I do when I order stuff. Um, if there's a seller that I really like or it just happens to be the cheapest one for what I need, um, I'll usually look through their shop and see if there's any like mini figs that I want. Um, I do have like wish lists on BrickLink so um, I like that there's like this little tab on there and you can select your wish list and um, go through and look and see what that seller has from your list and you can just pick out stuff from there. So I always do that now when I buy stuff um, just because it helps save on shipping, you know, in the long run if you need something anyway, you don't have to make like a special order for it. So I do that. Um, okay, let me clean this up. Let me just, I'll clean this mess up, hold on. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this. Yeah, so I ordered um, some of, I don't, well, I know they're for Technic um, pins. I don't know what they're called, but the bricks with the holes in them. <laughs> um, so I got some of these so I can start connecting some of these Mills plates um, a little bit. And you know, I'm not sure um, if I, I like if I want to use the Technic pins or there's like the other ones that just, you know, go in that don't actually like clip. Um, Cause sometimes I think it might be hard for me to get those apart on this. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna try them both and see um, what works best. Um, oh, and then I did get a minifigure. <laughs> um, I don't know who this is either. I think it's um, from Marvel, I think. Um, I, oh, it's this little cheetah lady. Oh my God. This little cheetah lady. <laughs> I thought this would be super cute as um, a Halloween costume for my sig fig. Uh, at Halloween, so I can just wear this cute little costume. I'm always thinking about Halloween. Halloween's my favorite holiday, so that's why I got this fig. I thought it'd be cute for a Halloween costume. All right, next thing. We'll start with the small one. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. Hmm. Okay. I actually have to make sure that I keep this stuff organized because. 
What I normally don't do and I don't like to do it and I did it anyway was order mock parts for more than one mock at one time. So then when the parts arrive, I have no idea what goes with what. I don't know why I did that. And now I'm gonna have to make sure I keep track of which sellers I bought, go back on BrickLink, look, and then sort the parts. Um, so these are just some parts and I really have no idea where they go um, or what mock I bought them for. Um, yeah, so there's that. There's actually nothing fun in this one. Well, there's just pieces in that one. So <laughs> I consider fun would be a minifigure or like an animal or <laughs> something like that. Um, oh, let's do this one first. Okay. Um, it's not like a normal box here, but we'll just, <clears throat> there. Okay. Oh, I did not know I ordered these. Oh, I didn't know I ordered these. Um, okay, some more Technic pieces um, to connect um, my... But these have double holes in them. I don't know what I think sometimes when I order these, but um, I feel like I got the double because I've seen a lot of other people use the double. So I think that's why I ordered that. And then I think these might have just been cheap, um, the single hole, and I just got them. Um, because I figured I could still use them. So I think that's what I did there with that. And then more um, two by two pieces for Mills plates. Um, again, if I just see somebody, I just order whatever they have that's cheap. Um, and that happens to be these colors. I don't really, obviously with Mills plates, I don't really care about the color. I think I do want to maybe streamline the borders when this is all done but you know the ones that are in the middle i don't really mind what color it is that's it for this one not some fun in there either okay let's see what this one is um okay so huh i'm actually well i know it's in this one because i know what i ordered from this specific seller and it was um for quidditch so it is going to be parts but um I ordered the Triwizard Tournament stuff before this, so I'm surprised that that wasn't in any of this stuff. So, I don't know where it is. I'll have to look into that and make sure I, it's still coming or it didn't already get delivered and stolen or something like that. But CD Bricks is my favorite place to order from. I feel like. The parts are always a really good price. I personally, um, I like buying used bricks. Um, I think it just, it's great for more than one reason. Um, price, the planet. Um, but there are sometimes like tiles I find it can be really scratched up and it really doesn't look good. Um, so sometimes the tiles I think might need to be new, but I haven't had any problems with any of the bricks that I've ever purchased that were used. And I feel like my castle has to be, de I would say 50, between 50 and 70% used bricks, this castle. So I am all about used pieces. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, that's what Lego's like supposed to be though, you know? Like they're, they're good quality stuff. You can reuse them. So might as well, might as well. All right. Oh, yay. Look at all these Quidditch colors. Okay, let me not get this next up. Hold on. Look. One thing I like about um, just ordering straight off of BrickLink versus um, going through my spare parts and then ordering, I find it's just... You don't have to sort as much. I'm not a sorter. I I don't like sorting one bit. I just, nope, I don't like it. And I think it's just, for me, it's easier to just go on, order everything I need, and then sometimes there are mistakes. Sometimes sellers make mistakes, which is not no big deal to me. You know, I'm not, you know, upset about it. It happens. There's a lot here. A lot of the times everything is okay though. And I am surprised that it honestly doesn't happen more. 
um, people making errors because I'm like, I don't, this is a lot and they're so tiny and I don't know how they do it. I honestly don't know how they do it. So I think anyone, if you have a brick lane store, you know, props to you because this is hard. This to me would be really, really hard to get perfect and precise each time. So, um, there's not, I didn't order nothing fun in this one either. But look at all these pretty colors. So um, I'll, I'll leave the link below to the mock that I'm gonna be building for this, but it does utilize this, which I'm excited. It utilizes this whole, well, these are, this is actually two sets from, I don't know when this came out, 2018? Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments. I don't know when this came out, but I think, I think I may have purchased both of these used or I'm not sure. It, it definitely wasn't on shelves. Let's just put it that way. It wasn't on shelves. I don't think when I started doing Lego, I don't, rem I don't recall that it was, um, but look, I have all my little, <laughs> my little Quidditch teams. Well, actually I still need to get more, um, hair pieces and everything. And the Ravenclaw are going to fall out if I tip it. But, um, yeah, I have some of them ready. I need to actually, you know, I only have, um, Cedric <laughs> for Hufflepuff, but anyway, so, and I'm destroying this, um, but I am going to have to probably take this mostly apart, I would think, for this mock. I'm not sure. Um, but I really, I love mocks that utilize sets that I already have, so I don't have to spend more money and I can just use the stuff I already have. So that's great. And yeah, I think that's all, I think this is all for that. I think, yeah, this, when I ordered from this seller, I just got everything for Quidditch. So I'm excited to get started on that, right? We're gonna have Friday night Quidditch, which I'm super excited. I did actually get some fun stuff. Um, I did get some minifigs. I went to Bricks and Minifigs Loots. They actually just had their re-grand opening on, well, yesterday. Um, today is Sunday, so Saturday, they had their re-grand opening and um, I went over there and I picked up some minifigs. I'm gonna go closer so you can see them. Oh, okay. So I got Poison Loot. <laughs> well, I got Poison Ivy. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. It was like the fig I never knew I needed. She's just gorgeous. And then I got, these two for the animal. <laughs> um, and then I also thought these cheetah pants would be cute on my sig fig um, to have. I feel like I'm always shopping for clothes for my sig fig. Like, she needs to be cute. <laughs> um, the koala and the flamingo were why I got these two. And this is the Lego movie. I forget what his name is, but I figure he would totally go perfect in a wizarding world too. So I picked him up. Um, and then what other news? I started building the Hocus Pocus set. I think me and my fiance are going to kind of take turns doing that because now that I have um, the pieces for the Quidditch, I think I'm gonna start working on that and let him kind of take over on the Hocus Pocus for a while. So um, yeah, and that's really much it. I think that's it. That is pretty much the weekly update. There's nothing else I don't think I missed. Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know anything that you want to see. Maybe there's something you saw that you want to see in closer detail. I still will be doing Hogwarts. Oh, I do. The poster. Remember the poster um, that I was going to paint? It didn't turn out like I thought it would. I like it, um, but I don't know. I don't know what I thought it was going to look like, but um, it totally looks like a five-year-old did it. Um, I'm so proud of it. Um, I am. Let me show it to you. Hold on. It's right over here. Let me, let me get this for you. <laughs> Show you what I've done. Um, so I realized that I should not have done it this way. And now you can actually, because it's acrylic paint, you can just paint right over it. And it's really, it, acrylic paint paints over itself very nicely. So I realized that trying, if I did it this way, then I would have to, when I, do another poster, I have to make them connect. So I thought it would be better to not have them connect at the end. But I, I know it looks um, very easy <laughs> to do. Um, but you know, I was thinking that I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more like, I don't know. But look, look, I feel like that's better than this background, right? Like this looks better. 
than nothing. You know, it gives me Toy Story vibes, right? I think it looks just like, I don't know, Toy Story. So I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or not. Let me know what you guys think. But I did, um, I ordered, you know what I was thinking? I ordered um, some tapestries. I, well, one, actually. I have a couple more on my Amazon cart. And they're actually not that expensive. When I first started doing this <clears throat> in the cabinets, I ordered um, poster, poster board. And I found that when it comes to filming or photography, the glare on the poster did not work. And then I was thinking, oh, maybe I could go spray it with like a, a clear matte spray paint. Um, but I, I never kind of got around to that. So um, I was thinking tapestries might work really well. So also for back here, I bought a big, well, it's not so it won't cover this whole table, but I did get a larger one and we'll see. And I feel like, how pretty would that be? I got one, I think it's like mountains with like maybe a lake and some trees. So I think that might look pretty back here, but I was gonna see if I could order some smaller tapestries for in here and then just cut them to fit. So I'll see how the other one goes. I think it was like $8.99. So we'll try that out. So that will probably be in my next video. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.